comics and uh this is like really like when you get down to like because i feel like if you've waited this long for three minutes of, of, of jokes you're like either really good or like you're gonna be really good or you're really crazy right so like <laughs> this is like this is the fun part man this is like when you get the yogurt and you're at the bottom of it you know what i mean that's what this is right here that's what this is right here so please give it up for monty video <laughs> I bet you get caught Jose a lot, right? Final applause for that guy right there. All right, so um, I keep a photo of a I keep a photo of a cat in my wallet. Uh, I think it's very important that you guys understand that I do not own a cat. So now you're probably wondering why do I keep a photo of a cat in my wallet if I do not own a cat? And the answer is I am prepared. I am paranoid and I am prepared. See, I'm afraid that I'm going to be at work one day, as stoners are, right? We're afraid that we're going to get asked by our boss, hey, why are your eyes red? And that always comes with the next question, are you high? But no, I'm prepared. So I'm reaching for my wallet. I'm taking out this photo of this cat right here. I start getting deep into a story. I grew up with this cat. It's my family's cat. And this morning, he died in my arms. <laughs> this is for you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> And then I ask him if I can take a lunch for my emotions. You know? And I just go get high in my car. It's cool now. I can be rid of for the rest of the day. <laughs> so the other day I was inviting a friend from work. His name is Gouda. I said, hey, after work, why don't we come to my place, you know, smoke a blunt, right? So I get to my house. I, I go see my wife. My wife, she has different objectives for us. She wants us to spend some quality time. So now I have to cancel my, you know, my plans with Gouda. I don't know how to do this, so I, I send him a text message. Just how I, I write it. I say, hey, Gouda. Turns out my wife doesn't like you at all. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's you specifically or your people in general, but just don't come to my house. I'll see you at work tomorrow. We're gonna sneak in some tolerance documentaries and maybe you know, change your ways. But again, do not come to my house tonight. So I've been uh, happily married for three years. Thank you. We've been married a total of seven years. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, um, I have some advice for you guys if uh, you want to have a happy marriage. It's very important that you marry a woman who has a beautiful, angry face. <laughs> yeah, she's going you know, to be angry at you a lot. It's, it's easier to stay in the room and argue with her if she's beautiful. Right. It's also very important that she has a very ugly sister. <laughs> it's very bad for a marriage to have sex with her sister. <laughs> ugly sister, prepare yourself. It's also good to be in control. My wife's a very short woman. She does love her morning coffee, so I do keep the coffee on the top shelf. <laughs> She's always only mad at me for one day. The next day, she kind of gets over it. I am in control. Right. <laughs> Man. And uh, well, I don't know if you guys know about Hillsboro. I live. Uh, I live in Hillsboro. There's a Target in Hillsboro. There's. There's quite a lot of ugly people in that target right there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know if maybe um, the recruiting manager, she's like mediocre. She's just trying to kind of surround herself, you know, by ugly people, bring herself up. Maybe it's just the morning shift. I'm not really, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on over there. But um, it's, it's been making me feel really great about my current status. I, know, I, know. I was the first one to have uh, breasts in uh, elementary school before all the ladies, you know. So I've been kind of like working with that ever since then, you know. But I go over there, I feel all right. I feel all right. Um, yeah. You might notice uh, I have dreadlocks. I also have uh, a tie and a tucked in shirt. A lot of you uh, marijuana smokers out there are kind of ruining it for us. You know, you get dirty uh, smokers that are calling you, you know. You look like you're not doing anything. I smoke a joint in the street. It looks like I'm, I'm about my business. You know, it looks like I'm just getting things done. You give me a lighter and I just keep going. It's really working out for me, guys. I you guys are working on this right? uh, Guys, this is also my third time. I'm going to come back next Wednesday. Thank you again. For the <laughs>